Fire investigators are going inside the West 11th Street house right now. Sunday morning, the house catching fire, taking the lives of those children. And our own Samir Nefsi has been at that scene all morning long. He is live with what inspectors are saying. Samir. Yeah, Tracy, Fire Chief Guy Santone telling us that they had no idea this daycare was even in existence. Now, in 2000, the Department of Human Services issuing Aileen Harris of the Harris Family Daycare their certificate for occupation. Now, Santone adding that the DHS is actually the one who goes in and inspects them yearly. Now, today, inspectors from Erie County, Allegheny County, and the DHS all on site investigating the house fire that claimed the lives of those five children Sunday morning. Shortly before 10 a.m., crews making their way into the house today. Chief Santone saying the investigation is getting a little twisty. As of right now, the fire is believed to be electrical. Santone telling us that electrical cords were plugged into one another, some under couches, under carpets. Now, for an official determination to what caused that fire, that will have to come from a lab. Code enforcement officer Andy Zimmerman telling Action News and uh, that he and Fire Chief Santone plan on talking with City of Erie Mayor Joe Schimber about the possibility of creating a daycare ordinance to ensure that every care facility like this is inspected by them. We're also take a step back and take a look at maybe we do need a daycare ordinance that would mirror the rental program um, that require what the rental units require are required to have. They didn't notify the local community. Like here. They didn't notify us that there was a daycare here and they don't. So and there lies a the problem. When we know there's a daycare, we always inspect them. All right, now really fast, I'd like to take a look at what's going on. You can see crews are still here. They are mostly inside the building, but take a look at that exterior, what it looks like in uh, daylight right now. You can see the siding melting and the wood exposed, the charred remains. And then we have the stroller over there as well. The house is surrounding the siding melting as well. Now, Santone telling us that there was one fire or smoke detector in the building. It was in the attic, but he said... That's basically useless at a time like this whenever the smoke has to make its way through the first floor to the second. And by the time it makes it to the attic, it's too late for anyone to get up and do anything about that. Now, we did ask if uh, the children belonged to Harris. He told us that four of the children did not. He could not confirm about the fifth one. Tracy. All right. Thank you for the live report this afternoon, Samir.